Hello everyone, it's Stella here. I hope that you're doing great. Welcome to BB and Yaya Show, the place where people come to get inspired about all aspects of life, the vices and the advice. Here, we share people's stories so you don't make the same mistakes in life. We then try to provide these people with solutions through the comment section. Our goal is to share experiences and wisdom with all of you. Today, our story comes from a young woman who said that her boyfriend saw her without makeup after dating for two years. Please keep the comments balling in. Write your solutions or opinions that you think will help these people. We will try to reply to all the comments and will share our opinions. Please also show some love to the ones who share their stories by smashing the thumbs up button below. And if this is your first time watching one of our episodes, subscribe to our channel. We are here to help everyone who needs life advice in any good or difficult situation. So you can share your stories with us at the email address in the description below if you need any help. All right, folks, without further ado, let's get into the story. But before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who likes our videos. It helps the channel a lot. This is her side of the story. Hey, it's Sally here. I'm 25 years old and I love makeup. I mean, I really love it. I don't even answer the door barefaced to the postman. My fascination with makeup started back when I was just a little kid. My mom was a famous beauty blogger and even created her own cosmetics brand. Everyone from renowned models to Hollywood actresses wanted to use her products. Back then, the industry was different. It wasn't about YouTube and different media channels. Instead, people like my mom had to take different avenues to promote their products. I remember how amazing it felt to walk into a drugstore and see my mom's makeup on the shelves. But then my mom's world came crashing down, and it was all thanks to one lame model. I knew something was up when my dad picked me up from school. He barely ever picked me up. Mom always did. And weirder still, he didn't say a single word to me. Then I walked into our house to find mom standing in front of the mirror as she smeared makeup all over her face. My mom was a glamorous, perfect looking woman. I'd never seen her look or act like this before. I just remember staring at her, not knowing what I should do or say. Then she started crying, which caused the makeup to streak down her face. I remember thinking that she looked like a scary clown. She seemed so out of control. In a harsh tone, my dad said to her, Will you just look at yourself? How can you let Sally see you like this? Then he covered my eyes and pulled me out of there. I asked him what was going on, and he sighed and told me how a model had had a bad reaction to the products during my mom's live webcast. And now she was getting treatment at the dermatology hospital. She blamed it on my mom's cosmetic products, which meant that both the press team and police were now involved. Now the beauty industry was boycotting the range that my mom had worked so hard to create. The next day after school, my mom seemed to be in good spirits. She took me for a milkshake and we sang along to Disney tunes in the car. I thought everything was back to normal, but then we arrived home and she sat me down and said to me, Sally, you're going to be my model and save this family. Then she filmed herself applying her makeup products on me. She turned to the camera and said, See, I dare to use my products on my daughter's delicate skin, because I know there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. The problem is that footage of a young girl having her makeup done is boring in comparison to the shocking pictures of a famous model with burned skin. All the brands turned their backs on her, and she went from super successful entrepreneur to blacklisted overnight. An investigation later proved that the model's skin was damaged due to dangerous fake Botox injections, not my mom's products. But this was too little too late, as my mom had already lost all of her deals and partnerships, and the money spent on pricey lawsuits made my family bankrupt. After that, mom left the beauty industry behind, but that afternoon changed my life. I always felt a sense of low self-esteem growing up in an environment full of famous beauties. But that day, after being put on makeup by my mother, I felt so pretty. 
I looked in the mirror and found myself like all the dream girls I'd seen from my childhood. My new beautiful appearance made me more confident. Since then, I started practicing makeup, and this obsession doesn't stop until I grow up by the age of 14. I wouldn't be seen leaving the house without a full face of makeup on. It gave me this added layer of confidence and made me feel ready to face the day when I had my makeup on. Then, it didn't matter as much that my parents were now poor. I looked and felt beautiful, and I could handle the world. Now, at 25, I still adore makeup. I'm a self-confessed makeup addict, even though my boyfriend Chris has never seen my bare face. When I stayed over at his house, I went to bed with a full face of makeup on, then I'd wait until he fell asleep. Then I could sneak into the bathroom and take it off and moisturize. Then I woke up two hours before he did, just so I could apply my makeup, then get back into bed and look like i just woken up that glamorous. Yes, keeping up appearances was hard work, but when he looked at me like I was the most beautiful girl in the world, well, that made it so worth it. Only on one occasion, Chris woke up early and walked in on me doing my makeup. I totally freaked out and immediately covered my face with my hands and screamed, Out! No! Don't look at me, I'm hideous! He laughed and said, Don't be silly. A bit of makeup doesn't change the fact that I love you and think that you're the most beautiful girl in existence. This was sweet and all, but I still shouted at him until he left the room so I could finish off my makeup. His words got me thinking, though. Did he really, truly love me? We'd been together for two years, yet he'd never seen me fresh-faced. So how could he possibly know if he loved me if I wasn't wearing makeup? I couldn't stop thinking about this. I needed to know if he truly loved me or not, so I took all of my makeup off, even my clear lip gloss. Then I tied back my hair and put on casual clothes and a pair of sneakers. I was standing right behind him at his favorite cafe. I hesitantly went up to the table where he was sitting and was confused as to how to speak. That was when he looked up at me while still scrolling through his phone and said, yeah, you can take that seat as I'm leaving soon. Before we continue listening to what happened next, don't forget to click on the like button below if you have not done so yet to show some support. He didn't recognize me. Interestingly, I sat down in front of him, pretending to be a shy, cute girl and softly starting up a conversation. I tried varying the tone of my voice to ask what I should order and it worked. He completely thought that I was some random girl. After we chatted for ages, I said to him, I see you don't really have to leave soon, huh? He smiled and complimented me on being cute. It made me feel a lot more confident. So by then I had the courage to tell him that I was his girlfriend. But he suddenly grinned and said, if you don't have a boyfriend, I wonder if I have a chance to get to know you. What? He was still in a relationship with me. Unbelievable. Well, another plan popped in my head. So I tried to stay calm and replied coyly. I'd like that. After that, I started living two different lives. When I put my makeup on and become energetic and attractive, Chris complimented me on how beautiful and charming I was and proudly showed me off to his friends. But when I appeared with a bare face and acted all coy, he said that he loved how sweet and rustic I was and he thought that girls who wore makeup all day were tragic. Tragic. How dare he? He would lie about going out with his friends so he could spend more time with makeup on me. Then he kissed makeup on me and told me how he loved how glamorous I was and how I was the only girl for him. Yeah, right. I couldn't believe how fake this guy was. There I was thinking he loved me, but now he was cheating on me. With me. A playboy like him didn't deserve any version of me. So, it was time to take revenge. So when he asked me, the one without the makeup, to go on a trip, I shyly accepted. I knew he just wanted to trick an innocent girl into bed with him, but I'm not an ordinary girl. Anyways, as he was chilling out in the pool, I shyly said I would take a shower and wait for him inside, and I swear his eyes brightened like a magpie. I ran into the bathroom to turn the shower on and then left a trail of makeup free me's clothes on the floor, and then snuck out into the room nearby that I'd booked for the night. There, I transformed into makeup me. Then I got back ringing the doorbell. Obviously, he had to hurry from the pool to open the door, and when he saw me, he turned so pale. I walked in without his welcome, 
calmly walked through the luxurious room and picked up every trace of adultery I'd previously scattered on the floor. Sundress, bikini, even lingerie. Then I threw them at him. He was unable to say a word and then got panicked when I started walking to the toilet where there was the sound of a shower pouring water, calmly saying, the person I need to hit is inside, isn't she? He panicked and ran between me and the door. It's not worth your action, honey. She's nothing. You know you're my only one. I asked him, is she beautiful? No, she's boring and old-fashioned, not like you. I pushed him away and opened the door to enter. He panicked, jumped right behind me, and froze when his mistress was nowhere to be found in the hot shower stream. He probably thought she somehow escaped herself and at least saved his life. I still walked in, undressed, and put a bathrobe on myself right in front of him. Then I walked over to the mirror and started removing my makeup. He was still so bold and shameless. I completely had you fooled. There is no girl. This was my plan to bring you here. Let's enjoy the night, babe. He really had a talent for lying. I just silently removed all the makeup on my face. I've never seen you remove your makeup. Tonight will be really great, he said as he walked over to hug me from behind. I finished by tying up my hair and wiping the steam on the mirror with my hand and said, So, who do you want to sleep with tonight? He looked up into the mirror to see another me and screamed in horror, running away as if he'd seen a ghost. That night, I gloatingly stayed in that luxury hotel room and enjoyed the first day of my single life. Makeup is my passion and hobby, and I won't change it for anyone, especially for that kind of guy. But now I realize that I deserve to find a guy who loves me unconditionally, whether I'm the glamorous makeup-covered version of me or just plain makeup-free me. So, this was Sally's story. She deserves much better. Now you guys need to share your opinions with her through the comment section. We will also try to reply to all the comments. If you think that you also need some advice or just want to share any life experiences, we have multiple videos on this channel that cover all topics on life. Feel free to watch all of them, but you can always share your stories with us at the email address in the description below. Love you. Thank you for watching the video. I will see you soon with another intriguing story. And don't forget to smash the like button, share the video with others so they can contribute with their solutions, and press the bell icon to subscribe. Bye!